Hi, this is Sahana. In our today's session, we are going to learn www root folder and static files. You might already know that in any web application, there will be a client, which is our browser and a server where our web application is hosted. Whenever client sends request to the server, server sends the response back to the client by sending some files. If we have to talk about static files, if server sends the file as it is to the client without doing any manipulation, then that file is called as static file. If you look at this application, here we have site.css file, which is a CSS file. Here we have logo image. Then we have some ja here site.js is the JavaScript file. Inside bootstrap folder, you can find you can find bootstrap files. The same way, if you look at views, here we have here we have razor files. If client requests for this logo image or this CSS file or this JavaScript file, then server sends this file as it is to the browser. It will not do any manipulation. That is the reason we call these files as static files. The same way, if client requests this index.cshtml, which is a razor file, here server will do all the necessary manipulation before sending response back to the client. In our last session, we have added this logo to our application. In Solution Explorer, you can see different files and folders. Here we have www root folder, inside which we have created new folder by name images. And here we have stored logo and we are using this. To make the things simple and safe, ASP.NET Core Framework introduced this special folder called www root. We can place all the public files in this folder. This www root is a special folder. We call this folder as web root folder. And this special folder is used to store static files. One more important feature of this folder is clients can directly access files stored inside this folder. I will show you how to access this logo image. This logo image is stored inside www root folder. Then inside that folder we have images, then logo image.png. Now I'll show you how to access this image. Okay, here this is our browser and here this is the application URL. To access this logo image, which is inside images, you don't have to mention this www root at the URL. The reason is this is the root folder. Here now you have to write slash images slash the file name logo underscore mg dot png. See, we are able to access the logo image. Very important thing. You should remember this thing. You should not, you should not specify www root in the URL. Now let's try to access this CSS file, site.css, which is inside CSS folder. Instead of images, I will write CSS. The file name is site.css. I have used ASP.NET Core MVC web app template while creating this application. That's why I did not create this folder. Framework itself has created this folder and project structure for me. If you have chosen empty web application template, then you will not have this folder. You have to create the folder on your own. Just to make the things clear, I have opened new instance of Visual Studio. Here you have different templates like see here you have ASP.NET Core empty template, then ASP.NET Core web app model view controller template. I have chosen this one. By any chance, if you have chosen this template, I'll just show you. I'll create a project. See, this is our new empty web application. Here you do not see any folder by name www root. You have, in that case, you have to create the folder on your own. Right click, add new folder. Name should be www root. As soon as you add this folder, see, icon changes to this web icon. Now we know what are static files and importance of www root folder. But you know, there is one more important thing. Just having this folder and placing files in this folder 
is not sufficient. To make the files available to the client, we should tell the framework that I want to make some files uh, available to the public so that client can access those files. We tell that by adding static files middleware to the request pipeline. I'll show you how to do that. In this project, we have important file called program.cs file. In this file, you can find a section where we are configuring different middleware. If you don't know what is middleware, don't worry. I have made a separate video on that. I'll keep link in the description. If I have to brief you what is middleware, you can think of middleware like a component which, which handles certain responsibility. If we take the example of the middleware use routing, this middleware handles the responsibility of routing the requests. If you notice, here we have the middleware use static files. This middleware is responsible to serve the static files. Again, we haven't added this middleware to our application because we have created this application using a template. So that's the reason we have this template added by the framework. But if you have created your project using empty web application, then please go ahead and add this statement. This middleware considers www root as the default folder. Whatever the files you have in that folder will be accessible by the client. If you're thinking, can I create separate folder and so the static files from that folder? Yes, it is possible. I'll show you how to do that. Create separate folder. I will right click on the project. Add. New folder. Name it as static file testing. I will store fresh image in this folder. You can you can right click and you can open folder in file explorer. Now you can see this flower has been added to this folder. To serve files from this folder, we can use same use static files middleware, but this time we are going to use different overload of this method. And in that method, we are going to mention the physical folder path which is going to serve our files. I will for time being I will comment this one. Instead of this version of use static files, I'm going to use this version of static files. Here, see, I'm using use static files middleware and I, here I have mentioned the physical path which is going to serve the static files. Let's try to access that folder. After this uh, localhost port number, you should type uh, folder name that is static files and the file name. Here static file static file testing is the folder name. Flower.jpg is the file name. Hit. See we are able to access that file. This proves the fact that we can access static files outside of www root folder but we should make sure that we have made necessary setting by adding folder path to the static files middleware. If you look at the code we have commented this app dot use static files which is pointing to www root folder. Ideally we should not be able to access the files which are inside this folder. Let here now I will try to access that logo image which is logo image dot png. We are able to access this file. How it is possible? The reason is client has cached this image. This image is being solved from the cache. Let's verify that. I'll clear the cache now. Clear data. Now I'll try to access this image. See, this time we are not able to access this image. The reason is we have cleared the cache and client don't have the cached image. We should keep this thing in our mind. What if I want to serve the files from both of these folders? I will uncomment this one. I have restarted the application. I will try to access logo image. We are able to access this one. Let's try to access the image from another folder. We are able to access files from both of these folders. I hope now you are clear what are static files and how to serve these files. If you have subscribed to my channel, thanks for your time and thanks for your support. See you soon in the next video. Thank you.